Greetings guys and girls, fellow gamers, my name is Games Kicks, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We're working on the wall today and we're gonna do a lot of building. So hopefully we're gonna get a lot done. Some of it will be in time lapses, some of it not, because we don't want to make it too long dragging out and we only have limited resources, otherwise it's gonna take too long to prepare again. So I prepared a lot of resources right now for this uh, episode. And the idea is that I'm crafting a lot of wood frames now in the moment. I craft, finished crafting some concrete mix. I have more concrete mix here, that is so we can upgrade everything, so let me just see what we have here. Yes, we're making um, iron bars, the missing 73 to get another 200 trussing, I mean 200 trussing, making some iron bars, have another 200 trussing then go on here, and hopefully that will be enough then. So, and we have, here we go, another, yeah, these guys, okay, these guys are coming up to 100 as well. And these guys are coming up to 100 as well. There we go. Nice. So, we have a lot of this. So, which means we can actually queue up more pillars if we need to, which probably we should. So, let's queue up a couple of pillars here. Recipes, pillars. No, we don't need 400. So, what we need is probably 200. And the rest we're going to leave for upgrading. So, if we use 2,000... Yeah, that should be enough because we again we're burning more stone in the basement with our loads of forges and we should be okay though. as long as screamers don't see us we should be okay now somebody suggested in the comments if we sit underneath here with our forges while the screamers are up there and we eat that they will um, that they will uh, find us yeah I don't know could be a thing as far as I know when you have food they only sense you which means they don't see you. What they do is there's, uh, and this is how it used to be. Yeah, I don't know if that still is the case. Say I have food and I'm sitting right here. A zombie can sense me and what will happen is they will start walking into my direction, but they're not seeing me. They're not hunting me. They will walk towards my direction. So if I change then here and I go over here, yeah, well, a little bit further away, you will see the zombie doesn't change direction. It doesn't follow me. It follows where it last sensed me. So I can walk away and then go here and it will walk to that spot, look a little bit around and then pick up my sense again and follow me where, where I'm now. Now that's how it used to be. They don't go to hunt it as far as I know, so I could be sitting right below, um, well not right below, but the distance I have to the forges, I'm sure they can sense me, but they're not hunting me. And, if they're, and I don't know if a screamer that senses you and screams will call a horde. When a screamer screams when they don't sense you or hunt you, nothing happens. They just scream, okay? And nothing happens. They die on the spikes and scream, nobody cares. We had a screamer just come by here and I was sitting right here and it just, I heard like the explosion of the feet, you know, when you hear that and then it was gone, it was dead. So I walked over and there was the dead body and it screamed several times throughout that process. Now, if they are sensing you while they're screaming, I don't know if they will trigger a horde. That's something we would have to test, but I'm not going to go out of my way to test it right now because I want to check that out. So I just want to put that there as a warning. If people um, don't know that and it is a thing, I don't know. I have to trust that the people in the comments have tested that themselves and not just uh, making these claims. So I'm assuming that um, that has happened to someone and that could be a thing. So just be careful when you have food on you and the screamers are nearby and they don't see you that they might still uh, get um, summon a horde even if they don't see you but sense you. So let's go here. This is a lot of cleanup to do. We're not going to do this now. I have a lot of resources on me, so let's get going. Now, you might wonder why the hell do you have all that wood? Now, that's very simple. When we are on the inside of our base, I need to have a platform that I can walk on. So the idea is to have something like a wooden platform that goes along here. Yeah. And say probably about three wide, I would say it would have to be. And I'm also I'm obviously only going to make this now for you guys. Yeah. Now three white should be enough that it doesn't collapse okay and then we're going to um see how we're gonna get up there so what we're probably gonna find is that i will have somewhere a staircase like this going up okay and it is far enough away that we can go through it now this might be puked on so we what we might do is get a uh, plating um a concrete actually a concrete plate would probably be um, a concrete plate would probably be more appropriate so if we just take one just to test it okay now we obviously don't want to do that we're gonna have to count it right so this will be all gone this will be all flat yeah and then we're going to have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so what we do is every every ten 
So we're gonna do that here, okay? So there we go. This is where it will be because I think that is enough to have it every 10. I think so. And this should definitely not collapse. Now, we are going to put a ladder on this side, but on this side, we might need to protect it. So let's have a little look and see. Okay, we're making pillars. We're going to try that out later when the pillars are finished. So let's get cracking. We have a lot to do. Uh, let's upgrade this because I want to leave that like that. Why? Oh, I have no wood. I have to get wood. Sorry. I know there's a lot of trees, but I actually have already some wood here, which I have ready to go. There we go. You might wonder why I'm doing that. That is just a placeholder. So when I do this, things like that, boom, boom, it will go here and not start going on the top. That's why uh, a few of you have said that in the past as a tip. And uh, it really is great because it, do, it works, you know, absolutely. So if you have a fair idea where you want all your resources, do what I do, you know. So that way they never get wasted. The space never gets wasted. You always have it there. Now, we're going to pick these guys up because they're finished now. There we go. Another 2,000. Look at that. Beautiful. We have so many concrete mixes now. And let's go. We have the wood. So let's upgrade this and then get started on... Um, I also made some rebar frame ramps. I still had a few left and made some more. And that is basically so we can start making the tower um, as well. The, at least the bottom row of the tower. So Or the first two levels so that we have the zombies won't get through. I also took this pillar out here because we want to be able to walk through here. And I will also take, I maybe should have taken the middle pillar out. That would probably suit best. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I know it's a little bit of waste of resources, but you know what? In the name of it actually looking good and right, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take this pillar out here and put this guy back here. So that way it will be... Well, it's not really in the middle, but I don't want it too close to this side here, just in case they break through here, that it's the second one in. That would be more appropriate to me. I, I didn't really think about that at the time. So we also can upgrade then our... Um, I just actually have to be careful. I want to do it with the wrench because I have forged steel on me. And if I do this, then accidentally click on it another time when it's dry, I don't want it to... Um, accidentally upgrade again so let's do that and then we're going to finish the wall on this side here to the left so we're going to finish the north wall and then we're going to start working on the east wall and hopefully get the northeast tower um started similar to this also i want to take out uh, these ramps here these ramps here i want to take out um because they're ground level and i don't like them actually there i think what i might want to try is actually see what happens if we have these guys here so if we have one here one here one here and one here and one here and see how that looks okay i don't know i want to put something here maybe i want to put the trussing actually there to go up i don't know yet i haven't got a clue i don't know mm. i'm kind of in between making these guys trussing but they're not strong enough so we might actually just leave them concrete but i want to be able to look through them Okay, and that's my problem. I don't want... Because if we only can shoot through here, that's going to cause a problem. So we're going to see what it looks like on the other tower. We're going to use the other tower as an experiment for that. And then we see how we go.
Let's finish the top wall here and we've done now finished the north and the east wall pretty much. So far so good. We had one screamer which uh, just died over there on my barbed wire and then into my spikes. So we didn't have to worry too much about that girl. She was easy taken care of. I also remember what you guys said and made them flush now here right to the edge. This tower we're not going to build. Now we have two different towers. Yeah, let me run over here. It's a long ass run. But you can see why I want the platform made out of wood on the left hand side. Because it just is too narrow to run on top of these. And we have to get up and down. And we want to make it look like a proper fort. Now this here on that side i had two choices i wanted to kind of see in a way if this will work now let's upgrade these guys actually here on the bottom because this is important to have these guys upgraded so that the zombies don't break in through fast here so we leave that here for a moment so you see the top the top we made the concrete but the bottom i didn't want to make the concrete because if you have dogs and you have um something here that blocks your view ah damn it i picked the wrong one i can't pick that up Shit. <laughs> that's a waste of a freaking crossing then you can't really see through it and which means you have to go on top and then you have to hit the dog from the it gets all awkward so what i rather do is have the ground completely like that and this actually is not too bad. I mean, I don't mind. Now, I intentionally leave the different designs. I'm going to make the other tower the other design. And then when the horde comes or when a random roaming horde come, roaming hordes come, we uh, see which works well. And if it's a big deal or not, like to have the bottom open or closed. So if the bottom closed is okay, then we're just going to put in the future towers all of the bottom concrete down. Like, it doesn't really matter. So let's at least upgrade these guys here as well. We still have a lot of concrete left. Oh, we actually only have two and a half thousand. So that's like 20 odd. Is it 10 each? No, 200. So that's about 200. Yeah, okay. So we can definitely upgrade these guys here. Just want to go to higher. Don't want to waste my steel now. And of course, we're going to have to make a lot of steel once they're dry because these will have to be steel in the end. So we're going to have to make uh, 10 steel each, 200. Um, it's going to be probably about 6,000, 7,000 steel we're going to have to make in total. So that's going to be a lot of work, <laughs> a lot of mining for resources, that's for sure. So this will be upgraded here. And I already left the entrance here. There we go. And I left the entrance here, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's upgrade these guys here as well. Now, let's stop upgrading these here and uh, go back to... This looks actually nice. I'm really loving the way this actually looks. It's really nice. Now, dogs should not be able... Now, oh, when I didn't have these pillars here, and this was the problem. When I didn't have these pillars, I was actually able to walk through. Because the gap you have between this pillar and this pillar is too wide. And if I can walk through it, zombies and dogs will be getting through it as well. So, at least here now, they won't be getting through. Now, they have three pillars around them where we can go from here, we can go from here. So we have a lot of var uh, variety trying to attack them. Now, of course, on the top, everything is open in the moment. So anything that can fly or crawl will be able to get in. But this is what we're going to fix next. Now, I don't think we're going to get all of this done before the next um, port. But, you know, you're going to have to take the next horde. What we're going to do is similar to what we did with the uh, horde in the snow biome. We are going to drive out, get a place somewhere clean and nice and neat and uh, prepare to fight them out there. So the next horde we could potentially, uh, say, take on here. We're going to clear the buildings out or we don't even have to clear the buildings. We just, I think this is a very nice area here and we can well, actually all the way over here possibly or here is a nice clean area and that would make a lot of sense. It's away from everything and in case we die, we just spawn here and the horde will not come to us, which should be okay. So we definitely want to get a bit of a distance between us and the horde where it spawns. Okay, so let's go and work on, excuse me, oh yes, the gaps, yeah, I made some uh, trussing ramps, I think, but I don't have them with me, they were still queued up, as far as I know, or did I not make them at all, actually, oh wow, I actually don't remember if I made them or not, let me just see here, we made more trussing and the iron bars, but did we make any trussing ramps, damn it, I don't think we did, so let's just do a couple of trussing ramps, oh, there is no trussing ramps, shit, how are we going to do the top then? Ah, That's kind of annoying. I suppose we have to make them scrap. But I can make it here. I can make that here. Scrap. Yeah, I suppose we can make them scrap, fr scrap frame ramps. Hmm. Let me see something here. So this guy has... Oh, they have the same max load. So instead of trussing, we could use these guys. So... 
Mm, let me see. Trussing? Metal trussing costs 40 iron. And these guys only cost 3 iron to make. And they have the same... Oh, forge weight 40. But they have the same max load and mass. And then if we upgrade them even, that's only 10 scrap, 10 scrap iron. So they're much cheaper than trussing. Oh, okay. I might actually start... I might, I might start using them. And the good thing is I can place them again. So let's uh, get these guys here. And make some some, some scrap ramps. There we go. Let's make about 25, I would say. Man, that's so much cheaper. I should have done that right from the beginning. I feel like an even... Actually, you know what? I feel even more shit now because I think you guys have said that several times in the comments. Oh, man. I feel like a dingus now. So we can also connect then this to here, which is going to be awesome. So let's go quickly over there. So yeah, instead of... Tr oh, yes. Now I know. We can't shoot through it, but that's okay because we're never gonna have a problem. We never want to really shoot through them. These are just here so we can connect the rebar frames on them. And I wasn't sure if full reinforced concrete has the same durability, uh, sorry, the same max load we can carry with that. So let's put the ramps here. There we go. Nice. So one and two. And then three here. And we don't even have to upgrade them, actually. They can, but they can just stay here. Oh, man. And they look so awesome. Oh, man. We should upgrade them definitely once. That's only eight. Oh, it's even cheaper. That is so cool. Oh, man. Now I want all of them to be upgraded like that. That is so awesome. I know in future I won't be doing any trussing. That's for sure. So let's just get these guys in here. Nice. Let's finish the tower. I think we need this, this shape here. Yeah. Come on. And we can use this shape over here. And then go back here. Oh, there we go. nice that is really awesome i totally didn't think of that and I, I actually now remember you guys were saying it to me a few times to use them and the reason i dismissed them all the time and said like well they're not useful is because i can't shoot through them but i forgot that in this instance here it's not about being able to shoot through them it's just to be able to hold a lot of re uh, iron iron bars that we shoot through oh man i feel like such a douche now because you guys have said it so many times Okay, so let's put some wood here. Let's put the wood frames back in here. We have um, enough. <laughs> there we go. Let's put the wood frames all the way down. And I think three is enough. To be honest, like three should definitely be enough. So let's place some ladders so we can get up there. There we go, nice. And we're gonna place some ladders here. Now we might wanna actually take the bottom one off just in case we have a screamer horde summoning on the inside of the base. So that they don't um, attack that. And screamer hordes shouldn't be too difficult. So we should be able to deal with them really nicely. Now in the corner, this is the design I had in mind. And I like this actually because you see the gap here? We can actually fall through that. See that? Um, that's just the way uh, blocks work. Now this is, um, it's actually perfect for traps as well. I've seen a couple of videos by Grant Spartan and some and a lot of other people um, that built these um, gaps intentionally because this is actually a block. So if you actually look, yeah, let's take a square block. This is not a gap and zombies can fall through that as well. This is actually a block and this is a block, yeah? So the problem is though that I didn't want to have um, two blocks here and i wanted to leave this design here so what you have here is that little gap now we could remove these blocks and put um the other wood frames in these guys here and basically can't fall through it at all okay oh we actually still can fall through that and then we're stuck so but instead of making it look like awkward like this i thought it looked better from a design perspective to just leave the gap full stop but to, get, to ensure quality uh, sorry stability from the building, uh, from a structural perspective, we are uh, going to, there we go, 
put them in because this block and this block is attached even though you see a gap there so which means it's carrying the weight perfectly fine so and i think that's actually nice so we have a nice little walkway here all the way going across and that is quite a lovely so there we go we have everything here now this we might actually think about just replacing the blocks here full stop so that we don't fall in. We see how practical it is over time, but um, I don't know. I have to have a think about it. I just want to show you this because this is how some people people build zombie traps where zombies can't reach you at all because you can build this into in a circle all the way around with, uh, uh, in structures and zombies will just fall through. Now, it depends if they're running or not. If they're running, they probably will just go walk over it. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this design. I hope you like the way this uh, defensive wall is coming along in this castle. Now, mind you, this will go a lot higher. Uh, this is just the initial uh, floor we're going to build. But anyway, thank you very much. And if you did enjoy it, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Check out the other videos. And i see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming. We never tested out the concrete plate. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. Nice. Oh, yes. That's brilliant. And that will definitely protect these guys. That is awesome. We could make them concrete, I suppose, right away, but... Eh, why not? Let's see. This will be awesome. Look at that. Nice. Could make a spirally staircase out of that one. into there. Nice.